In this video, we will learn how to work with query strings in ASP.NET Core Web API routing. Query strings are nothing but key value pairs that we need to pass as the URL. One important point that we need to remember is before the query string or after the domain name, we need to use a question mark. The question mark in the URL indicates that the query string is stored. Now, let's understand how can we pass data by using the query string in the URL. For example, I want to search student by department name, but I don't want the department name as uh, part of the URL. Then, how can we do this? We can do this by using the query string only. Okay, now let's copy this method. Paste it below that. Then change the method name search student. Then uh, let's add one more parameter here string department here let's update the output message hello id then id then we have to show the name in string format name the plus symbol then we need to show the department okay department plus we have to pass this parameter value okay that's it now you have changed the route to search only now Put the breakpoint here. Now save and run this application. Let's append the URL here. Search. Press enter. Here we have in particular action method. Now check the value here. Your ID is 0. String name is null and department is null. Now click continue. See your ID is 0. Name and department are not displaying because it's null value. Now let's learn how can we pass values to the uh, parameters. For that we can use query string. As I told earlier that before the query string we need to use the question mark. Now we need to type name of the parameter question mark then name of the parameter will be department then equal and type the value ec then press enter button see here now id is 0 name null and department we have ec this time we got the department in other parameters the value is default the query string gives the functionality to the user to pass only required parameters. If you want to implement search functionality with more than one parameter, then we can deal with those parameters only. In some application, if I want to work with four or five parameters, then I can deal with those four or five parameters only. Let's add one more parameter here. in the browser now we need to use ambersand symbol or we can say unsymbol then define the name of the second parameter name equal Sharon then press enter so now ID is 0 name then we have the name and department now let's pass one more parameter use the Amberson symbol then id id will be 74 then press enter 
see here now we got a uh, all the parameters value so here we got the output too to deal with a query string we need to use this question mark uh, before the query string started after that we need to use ampersand symbol for all the parameters so we can pass multiple query strings separated by this ampersand symbol uh, remember the order of query string doesn't matter we can pass the query strings in any order so we can pass n number of parameters but the total length of the url including parameter and its value this must be less than the actual value of the url this is how we can use query strings in asp.net core web api routing um, i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching this video